Hi guys, it's Ben here and welcome to my preview of Everton vs Liverpool. I'm still feeling quite rough from last night. Obviously celebrations after this Liverpool Man City game, 3-0 victory. Um, still fresh in my mind, still buzzing about it. It was just a special, special night at Anfield. I think everyone just kind of still in disbelief as, as to how perfect it all was. Uh, the atmosphere, the the scenes, the, the, the non-stop singing and... Just the way Liverpool played in that full match was just astonishing and yeah, I'm still shattered and still thinking about it. It's tough to kind of divert my attention to Everton, but that's what we've got to do. It's no small matter this. It's a Merseyside derby at Goodison Park in the Premier League. It doesn't get much bigger than that um, under normal circumstances, but obviously we are distracted slightly by the Champions League. But let's focus on Everton and the, uh, I suppose the, the, the first thing that comes to mind when you think about this game is how will we line up? Because... Uh, injuries, suspensions and what, and what have you has kind of uh, depleted our squad um, going into the second leg against Man City. Um, you know, sort of some knocks here and there, even Salah who never seems to be injured has got a little knock so that's a minor concern, it seems like he's okay though. Um, Henderson suspended for the City game so yeah we, we, with knocks in defence as well it's kind of, we're going to have to throw it together a, a team here. Um, so if I'm, I mean, if, if you kind of go from front from back to front, Karius will play. Um, surely Nathaniel Climax has come back here. Um, Trent ran his socks off on uh, last night. It was probably the best player on the pitch in terms of uh, performance level. But Klein is match well. He's he's uh, match ready. So let's give him some minutes against Everton. In central defence, we don't have any cover with Clavin uh, not being ready and massive out for the season. So. You, can, you, you might want to rest either Van Dijk or Lovren. I'd probably, I'd probably play Lovren because he's played less football than Van Dijk. Van Dijk can maybe do with a rest. Uh, and maybe Conor Masterson plays alongside Van Dijk. Um, uh, sorry, alongside Lovren. That, that might be the, the way to go here with Moreno at left back giving Robertson a rest. Uh, in midfield, Henderson can play this because he uh, cannot play on Tuesday. Um, and then, in midfield, it really is anyone's guess. Emre Chan didn't train today so you wouldn't think he'd be ready um, to be thrown into him as a derby. Um, Wijnaldum didn't play from the start, I think he will play from the start against Man City so but I think he'll play, I think, I think he'll have enough in his legs to play here and then to play against City on Tuesday. I think I think we'll, we'll see Wijnaldum with Henderson in midfield and then with them, uh, do you want to see Milner play another 90 minutes? Um, I think Oxlade Chamberlain is going to play on the wing uh, so, maybe Curtis Jones, maybe we'll ask Curtis Jones in. Woodburn's not fit, I don't think. Uh, if, if, if he was, I think he'd play, but maybe Curtis Jones, 17 years old, he's been training with the first team, Camacho has been as well. Um, I know very little about Curtis Jones, I've seen bits of him, but I, I could not tell you what, what his real qualities are, but he might get the nod here, just purely out of process of elimination, and I wouldn't mind it at all. Um, why not? Let's give the kid a chance. Uh, I think Oxford Chamberlain will play on the right. Um, I think all the front three will be, will be rested here. Salah, Mane, Firmino. Oh, Salah's got a knock anyway, but uh, Mane played the whole game um, against City. Worked so hard. Firmino's been playing a lot of football recently, and it's a good chance for Dominic Solanke to play up front and um, you know impress the manager. And Danny Ings. Danny Ings uh, in, in that front three as well. I think that's going to be the team. I, th I think I'm, I can, I'm confident on about eight of those players, but the youngsters like Masterson and Jones, I, I, might, I might be being kind of wide of the mark there. Maybe he will just play Van Dyke and Milner, you know. But uh, either way, um, Everton at three to one is kind of a, 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 a maybe a decent bet. Everton would be, um, you know, obviously this, this is their this is their this is their biggest game in, 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 of the season now. It's they're not going to get relegated, they're not going to finish in, in the European position. So all they've really got to look forward to now is this derby, whereas we've got bigger fish to fry. Having said that, top four isn't secure. I know we've got a 10-point um, cushion on Chelsea, but they do have a game in hand and we have to go to the bridge, so that could easily uh, become four points. So if we drop three here, you know, we're kind of under pressure again. So we don't want to be throwing a game away, which is why maybe I am being um, slightly um, not optimistic, but... Which is just wider the mark when I say that Masterson and Jones might play or, or Camacho or whoever. Um, even even resting as many players as I suggested, even resting all the front three, might we might not do that. Klopp might just feel, let's get through this, let's get through City, easier said than done. 
and then we'll just kind of take off the, off the gas. Maybe we can coast past Bournemouth and then we've got a week off. But um, it's hard to predict. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be a weird... We're going to be loving it. We're going to have such a good time at Goodison Park. We've got good memories, obviously, from last season. Mane's 94th minute winner. Um, we're going to enjoy ourselves uh, at the weekend at Goodison, knowing that we got... We've almost, as the cliche goes, we've almost got one foot in the semi-final of the Champions League, so we're going to be jubilant. They're kind of miserable at the moment with Sam so Adler as their manager, and not particularly enjoying life. We're loving it. We're loving watching Jurgen Klopp's Liverpool play football. It's the best we've been for years. It's the most exciting uh, football we've seen for years. And I think everyone, um, you, you know, you guys in the comments, when, when you kind of uh, message me or on Instagram DMs, you always, everyone's so happy at the moment. Everyone's together. We're all pushing for the same thing. We all want... European glory, which we're so close to, and this derby is just another chance to go out there and enjoy watching us play football, as far as I'm concerned. And yeah, we we, we with the team that I with that, that I mentioned, that team probably isn't good enough to win at Goodison. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm actually gonna pick us to to draw. Um, I, I picked us to draw against Man City and won three 0 so I'm happy to do that every week from now on if we're going to win uh, in such a convincing fashion. But yeah, I, I think we might get out. I think it might be a goal of draw. I think um, Big Sam. I, I can't see Everton particularly going for it. And we aren't. I don't think we're going to have the. Um, I just don't think we're going to be at full throttle. I think whether we mean to be or not. And I, look, in Merseyside derby, biggest game of the season in, in some people's eyes, of course, bragging rights in the city, but. I don't think I don't think it matters who the opponent is when we got this uh, when it's sandwiched in between this city tie. So I'm picking a nil nil draw, which I've, I don't usually do. Um, but look, obviously I, I really want us to win, and it, it would give us extra momentum going into City. Uh, Everton will really want to win as well. Um, but yeah, it's 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 hard to think. It's hard to focus fully on this. Jurgen will have Tuesday in mind when he picks his team. And that's the reality of it. It's unfortunate that the Merseyside derby is is so overshadowed because it is it is you know one of the fixtures you look out for to start the season, especially at Goodison, um, when you get to go to go to their place and play them off the park um, as we so often do. But yeah, leave a comment with your predictions um, and whether you think we'll, we'll see a debut for for one of these young kids. You know, well whether you think we'll, we'll maybe go full strength or as strong as. You know, as strong as we can, realistically. Um, it's completely, completely interesting, and I've got no insight either way. So, uh, I'm pretty glad you're watching me. But yeah, subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll obviously be vlogging from the game on Saturday, of course. Um, everyone seems to really like the City vlog um, from, from yesterday, so that's really positive. Thank you all for watching that. If you haven't already, please go and do so. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and I'll see you next time.